The battle over a pandemic border policy reaching a boiling point and dividing Democrats on the Hill. With just weeks until that policy expires, a growing coalition of lawmakers are expressing their concern. Border Patrol agents also sounding the alarm and pushing the Biden administration for a plan on how they are going to handle this expected influx of migrants. But the influx may already have started, and the data appears to back up that claim. Last month, the amount of migrant encounters shot up 33 percent from the month before. And CBP agents say they are bracing for a worst-case scenario of as many as 18,000 encounters each day. Our D.C. insider, News Nation Washington Bureau Chief Mike Vicara joining us now. So, Vic, the pressure mounting on President Biden, and it's not looking good ahead of the midterms. Yeah, that's right. The pre pressure is mounting on the president and his support among Democrats here on Capitol Hill appears to be crumbling. So the question is, Nicole, is the writing on the wall? Will the president be forced to change that plan to lift Title 42? Those are those pandemic era restrictions that kept people out of the country for public health reasons. The plan to lift it on May 23rd. Joining me now as he often does. What's today? Thursday. On Thursday, this is Niall Stanage, White House columnist from The Hill. Thank you very much for joining us. So I've been listening over the course of the last, I don't know, 30 hours to the White House, the president, the president's spokeswoman. To my ears, I hear them say, yes, it's May 23rd, but if it's going to change, then Congress has the right to change it. And if you start counting noses on Capitol Hill, those votes might be there. So my question to you is, what are you hearing? What do you think is going to happen? It looks to me that a delay is quite likely. Ah. We're just seeing the pressure building up further and further. We now have nine Democratic senators who have expressed right. concern about this. There doesn't seem to be real momentum to keep to the deadline you mentioned. All the political momentum seems to be shifting in favor of delay. That's right. And the White House will tell you that this is a decision much like the mask decision which relies on the Centers for Disease Control. Who knew that they had this much power? Eviction moratorium, masks, and now Title, title 42. Their contention is it's a public health issue and it's their decision. So this date, May 23rd, has been set. A lot of Democrats, you mentioned those nine senators, a lot of them in, up for re-election in swing districts. A lot of Democrats say, okay, uh, I'm not so sure about this, unless the president has a plan to handle the 18,000 a day influx that Nicole was just talking about. Yeah, that's right. And the administration tried to make the case that they had that plan. When the 18,000 figure was talked about, the Department of Homeland Security was talking about, you know, new facilities for these right. migrants. And that was an upper end figure. Exactly. Right. Yeah. That, that was the worst yeah. case scenario, right. as it were. But I don't think that those people you're talking about, you know, Mark Kelly in Arizona, Catherine Cortez Masco, Masto in mm -hmm. Nevada, I don't think they think those preparations are sufficient to overcome the political liability here of those very emotive images right. that we've seen before, people streaming across the I, I think one of the strongest, and you mentioned some of those, uh, Mark Kelly, who's got a tough race coming up in Arizona, and uh, uh, Senator Cortez Masto in Nevada, you know, those are Southwest border state senators, but even Maggie Hassan right. <laughs> in New Hampshire, in a swing state there, who's up for re-election, right. uh, is also telling us that she has some reservations, but I think the dead giveaway is Gary Peters. Gary Peters is a Democratic senator from Michigan who just won re-election. He's safe, but he runs the campaign committee for de Senate Democrats. What, are, what is the data that they're seeing either in public polling or elsewhere that's leading these senators to take this stance? I think a lot of the evidence in polling suggests there is a public groundswell wanting a tougher course of action on immigration. Uh, CBS News, you go poll earlier this yeah. month, President Biden on immigration, about a two to one disapproval rating. Even a quarter of Democrats wanting tougher action. Yeah, I, I just want to point out that, that Congress is back next week. There's a bill on the floor for more COVID relief. Republicans are insisting that these title, this Title 42 measure has to be on it. That's where we may see action by the end of next week. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.